Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to my workspace. What we have here in front of me is a JLO Rockwell two-stroke 292. This particular model from 1960s, mid to late 1960s, I believe, and is quite filthy and messed up, as you can tell by the fact that the piston is seized, as well as missing a stud, plus various other parts that we're about going to be finding out about. So, let me set that that way. Today we're going to start tearing it down, restoring it, cleaning it, and hopefully rebuilding it over the next few weeks. Today we're going to start this assembly by pulling the flywheel starter, uh, the hand crank, this part, off, as well as the outer casing, which should be where the flywheel is, if there is one. For that, we'll see about pulling the cylinder cover, cylinder, and piston out. That's going to be fun, especially since it is seized, as I mentioned before. Let's get started. Oh boy, this is gonna be tougher than anticipated. <clears throat> Wonderful. There we go. Should really spray this thing off. Oop. There goes the flying wheel. Ooh, it's actually, oh, never mind. Ugh, disgusting. I'm not sure what that was. That's scrap now, that's junk. If you got if you don't know the history about these engines, these Rockwells are generally were previously produced at some point in Germany. If you can't see that, read that it is in German, I believe. Now, another size down, looks like. Do apologize for the noise. There we go. There we are. Nice if I could actually see footage. Now that we got the flywheel off, the flywheel cover off, and the pull starter that's still right in front of the camera, if you can. That's just out of sight of the camera, actually. Once we, now that we got those off, we're going to be pulling 
this flywheel off from there, the cylinder, and the piston, hopefully. I do believe I have, I need to pull that off. We'll have to see. There, put these three off to the side here. The parts. Come on. There you are. These three all look just about identical. So, ugh. Fun. Interesting. Right. I'll just toss some. Pretty cleaner in there. I'll wet things down and hopefully. Here we are. Socket. That is not the right size. Damn you. Give me one moment to get back to you. So let me clean all this up and we can get to the piston and cylinder. All right, welcome back. Start with, just got to pull cylinder cover off because obviously there's no nuts for, no bolt nuts for it because they disappeared some between when my fuck grandfather put it away in the storage and when I picked it up. Now, I'm going to apply a little bit more breakaway to the inside here. See if that help, will help with the seizing at all. And then, pull the bolts off. Continue right. any further, let me just... Uh, Hold these two bolts. These two are for actually let me see if you can get a better look. If you can see these two, they are the bolts that have on the exhaust manifold, which obviously is gone as well. If I can find a picture of it, I should See it be tossing a picture of it, well, said manifold up on the screen. For now, I'm just gonna get these bolts out of here, out of the way. And there we go. this down a little and there, there we go Wait, one moment let me bring the camera in not sure if I can, you can see that but just barely see the side of the piston oh. And off.
Yeah, man. We're almost off. And ah, ah. it's off. Out. There we go. Show that. Did you see that? Idiot. That's that is where I believe the filter is. Let's set this aside here for now. Pull the, finish pulling the old filter uh, gasket off, which is rather messed up. But no bother. Ah! Did you look at that? Let's see, a couple screws in here. Presumably for this mount. I'm going to pull those out. That should free up space to get at the cylinder bolts, cylinder nuts. I'm out. That's the way. Almost there. There you go. One spacer with studs. That was okay. Okay. So it look, does look like there is a gap, a leak, or something inside however again because of the stuck piston no way of knowing for sure the damage so let's get back to pulling this thing apart look shall we all right move this over a little bit so you can guy you guys can get a slightly better look Oh, wonderful. Managed to find the right size socket. So now let's pull this off, shall we? It's already quite loose. That's concerning. Oh. Washer's not even remotely flattened. Come on. Come on, you little turd. There you go. That side. Now, you would assume that I'm off now, but All right. looks like I have to go back and disappear again while I go grab something to pull this off. It would appear that my flywheel puller has disappeared so for now i'm going to be cancel ending this video i'll bring it right back once i get the once i track down my flywheel puller thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe and hopefully you enjoyed this a little bit if not let me know why in the comments and how I, how you think I might be able to improve this, well, my layout and all this in general.
See ya. Bye-bye.